Water is crucial for survival. This liquid water is vital for humans, animals, and plants to live. The human body is made of two-thirds of water. We could go for a month without food, but you will die after three to five days without water. About 97 of the water on Earth is found in oceans and seas and is too salty for us to drink. New water is not formed. Water is recycled. Only 3% of the Earth's water that is fresh is found in rivers, lakes, and glaciers. Actually, only 1% is available for us to use in our everyday lives. Water is a limited resource. Did you know that the water you, that you bathe in is the same water that rained down 200 million years ago? The water cycle, also known as the hydrologic cycle, is the journey water takes as it moves from sky to land. The water cycle takes four steps to complete. The first is evaporation. Evaporation means that the water rises up into the sky and the dust in the air makes it form into vapor. Second is condensation. Condensation means that the vapor rises up and either joins a cloud or forms a cloud of its own. When a cloud is too heavy to carry the vapor, it starts to rain, sleet, hail, or snow. That is called precipitation. <laughs> Next is collection. It means that the rain, sleet, hail, or snow goes to places that have water. Otherwise, they form their own puddle. We use water to do a lot of things. We also need water to live. Normally, we use water to grow crops, wash laundry, cook, putting flat fires out, cleaning the house, drink, fish, swim, bath, or take a shower, survive, and more. Not many people like to think this way, but water is vital. We need water to survive. Cause and effect. One example is that when farmers use chemicals to spray on plants they grow, when it rains, the chemicals mix with the rain and flows down to rivers, which the effect is shown as polluted water. Natural fertilizers aren't good either. The slurry flows down to the river, which causes the fishes living there not to breathe. Another example is that sometimes ships that sail on, o on the oceans spills down oil if they are not careful. It affects the birds that come to swim there. They will be covered with oil and some die, but birds that can live cannot fly anymore. As you can see, water is a vital resource. It's time to start protecting water. People should take a look around them and see what's going on. Some people have to walk for miles to get a small bucket of water, and there are germs in the small bucket of water that they collected. Water is vital, and we need water to survive.